I'm in the magical mystique that's in the Himalayas. The mountain to be climbed is patiently waiting. The mountain is certainly not weighing in a buyer. The idea of climbing it is absolutely so liberating. I see her outline from afar in the distance. The mountain has its own beautiful shape. It's the reason for my continuing existence so that I can climb in this stunning landscape. In the bright, shiny morning I tease her, the mountain has, has its own magic. By far I know this is the one I certainly prefer, when I'm running up her automatic. As Oscar Wilde said, she's exquisitely adorable. The enduringly waiting mountain, it's always there, demands the utmost respect. She's not to be ignorable. And I truly adore all this fresh, clean mountain air. For safety and assurance, I'll even note to friends, as the mountain is shining a morning bright, about my enduring idea of climbing to the end and be gracefully and safely back whilst it's still light. I climb on the extensively alluring snow and ice, always thinking the mountain is so, so nice. A challenge, hoping to have played the right dice and ultimately reaching a shared common paradise. I fall, slip and slide on the silky smooth ice, on the blue glaze as my mind's breaking down, down and down and down to the toughest ground, slippery to the extreme, right down to the trajectory down. I'm totally lost, where the hell am I? Sliding all the way down. Oh my God! Oh my God, I'm looking up at the sky, and now I've just discovered my floor. The one thing is time I'd love to reset as I lay here on an exposed rocky mountain ledge. For this I promise I'll always regret as my mind and body are in bits on the edge. I'll have to accept high up here one can find the truth that I'll have to eventually come to terms with, along with all the answers I know I'll never get. As I'm feeling stranded on this gigantic monolith, Feel the howling and swirling snow against my face. It's cutting deep into my being, feeling like a disgrace. <coughs> From this overhang, all I can do is stare into space. And all the time, wishing I was in a different place. I'm awake, but I'm still very much hurting, all down to one or two incredible mistakes. I'm so confused. I thought the mountain was flirting, but I know I know it can give, but it also takes. I feel like a changed, chained, caged animal in a zoo, always looking out for the escaping sledge. But now I think I have a clue on what to do, even if I'm still very much balancing on the edge. I'm tired of waiting, it's been too long, yet I must survive, but I need to live on. Then I hear the rescue team like tiles in Mahjong, and I thank God my rescues are so very strong. And I know I'll never attempt a game to play that game. It was all down to me and the stupidity in my head, and I promise I won't make the same mistake again. But I'm still standing, as Elton John famously once said. Thank you.